Check out this little roadster. This is gorgeous. If you can't spot it, don't worry about it. It's a Templar. Templar Motors Corporation, you can see on the motor meter. This is just absolutely... This is why I love Hershey. Too bad we didn't have it. It's a tight little roadster. Look at the step plates. Obviously a quality machine. It does have doors, cutaway doors. It's got a regular sliding transmission. It's got a fat man steering wheel because he won't be able to get into it any other way. I like the little bar back there. Dual spares in the rear. Side door, of course. I'll be putting in information about the Templar. I think it's a 19. I'm not sure. I want to check out even these tires are huge. As usual, the wheels were quite big. I know someone asked me at one point what the sizes were. Uh, let's see, silver cord. I'm looking right now. 32 by 4. There we go, 32 by 4. Look at the size of those rear brakes. Internal expanding, which is quite unusual. Very big for the era. This is beautiful. Of course, no front brakes. Leaf springs all the way around. Again, the Templar. We will check out more about this car. I will look. Knights Templar organization started uh, building the cars, or the group of the guys that were in the yeah. uh, organization uh, of the yeah. oh, Knights of Columbus, uh, Knight, like Knights of Columbus, Knights of Templar. Yes, yes, yes. They, they built uh, the cars. Oh, really? Some yeah. people just so drink the, uh, beer. I guess they built cars. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was kind of cool. Back in the old days, it was the that's why it was they're mounted on a horse in the it's the, uh, from yeah. the Knights ordership of the Knights. What year is she? Nineteen. This is nineteen nineteen. Very nice. Now, how expensive was this car when it was new? This was uh, just a little under $3,000. That's a lot of a money. A lot of money in 1990. A lot of money. When you could buy a bunch of Model T's for that. Oh, you my know, gosh. You know, $250 for a Model T. And, you know. Yeah, just, uh, no, at that mm -hmm. point it's $490 mm -hmm. because that's what uh, Chevy did. Was yeah. the 490 Yeah, the not yeah. So, walking right in. Yeah. Now, yeah, what's under the hood? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Probably a detailed engine, right? No, it's overhead valve. Oh, it's overhead? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Look at yeah. that. Beautiful. Beautiful. My gosh, what a long stroke that is. Yeah. Gee. A lot of torque. Yeah, a lot of torque. Do you know any yeah. specs on it? Uh, I can't think of right off my bat. Uh, mm. I think it's a three and a half inch Four right and a uh, seven inch stroke. Oh my gosh, that's crazy! Yeah, now you take a Stets Barricat and they, they, they had an 11 and a half inch stroke. Yeah. Wow, and, and that and they was over yeah. four inch yeah. more. <laughs> they were huge oh, motors, that's and that's what they were trying to compete with. But yeah, you know, they were just weren't quite the up to that speed. But yeah, you know, the cast uh, the aluminum block it's or the aluminum. Yeah, yeah. A lot, they use a lot of aluminum. Even the, the body is aluminum too. Yeah, right? this is all aluminum. Oh this here part, the fenders are steel. Yeah, so you've got the alu uh, cast, cast aluminum, uh, aluminum some, and, the and then the uh, steel. And the, and then the steel jug and the right. head. Wow. Oh, well, that is a separate head. With the nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they, so they it, probably took the old defenders off. Yeah, the, well, the first Templars were made looked like the old Stutz Barricats. Oh, you know, okay. with that the oh, yeah, yeah, windshield yeah, yeah, yeah. and that, the very yeah. first ones they made, and I don't know if any of that's still around. I mean, they, yeah, I've they never all, seen one of those. Uh, yeah, they, I've never seen a Templar. I know it's we're, we've line. got four uh, Templars, and uh, a guy up in, up in Cleveland owns the factory. He has yeah. 11 or 12 of them now. Oh, wow. How and many were produced? 7,000. 7,000. Yeah. Over what years? 
uh, from 1917 to 1924. Oh, okay. So they did last. They even got through the uh, depression. Yeah, well, the war, but the World War One, they didn't build anything. For, right. You know, so they started the back up in 1919. Okay. Yeah. That's surprising. It got through 21. But they couldn't go any yeah, further. And then, then by that time, they, you know, they started having money trouble because they, they were expensive cars and they weren't selling yeah. enough of them. And yeah. They were the first car to come out uh, that we have a 1920 that right. has front wheel brakes. And it's the first car to have factory made front wheel brakes. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are Templars from? Cleveland, Ohio. Really? Yeah. How you doing? Factory still stands. Hi, up there. very good. What year is this? This is 1919. Very I, advanced for its time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got an air compressor built onto the transmission so you get air for tires. And I carried a wow. car in my trailer that John Bradley had in from down to Hershey about. This is great. In some trade. Huh. I should have gone. I like your locking of mission. Locking of mission, fat yeah, man steering wheel. Yeah. Beautiful. It yeah. Good. Yeah, it's got the. Yeah, well, it, and, uh, fat man steering wheel, which is. Yep. You can tilt it to get your. Belly in, <laughs> which is yes. handy. <laughs> you did that. Yeah. Well, nothing moves over here. Is that a four speed or three speed? It's three speed. Very good. I like the way how they have the Templar up on yeah, top. Yeah, they had the cross there. Yeah, and then in the uh, in 1920 they put the knob for the cow vent. Uh huh. Cow, in 20 cow vents were that was first year for a cow vent and a Templar. Right. And then the knob has the Maltese cross on it. Oh, that's too cool. Yeah, so. That is too cool. I like your windshield wipers, by the yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. Manual yeah. windshield wiper. Yeah, it probably didn't do a lot of good if you were a damn bore in it anyway. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> kinda... I can't believe the size of the rear brakes are huge. Yeah, that's the only thing you got for brakes, yeah. too, though. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you also have the transmission yeah. brake. Yeah. 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 But yeah, it just locks up the rear wheels again, so. Yeah. But that's still very big. This is gorgeous. And the rear half is aluminum, huh? Yeah. Front half is steel. And they made their own motors and everything. Motors, yeah. Wow. They bought their transmission and the rear ends. is the only thing they bought. Who designed the car, do you know? Uh, I don't know if it was uh, somebody in-house or what. But yeah, we always like you know, the dual inset rear spare tires and stuff. That what back a here. sweet car. Jeez. Now, where did you find her? This was... Uh, up in New Palestine, Indiana, it was up in uh, right outside Indianapolis. Uh huh. And we knew about it for years because uh, the guy we bought a twenty, and he had some of the parts for the twenty. Right. He was borrowing from making. Uh, he had the splash gas tank cover and stuff like that. He was making copies of it. Uh huh. And then he took the car apart. I was about six years old when we first seen this one, and he was working on it, and the body was upon on saw horses. Right. And he had the car apart. And I remember looking at the interior thinking, what, what, it's, leather is just really funny looking. Well, it was ostrich leather. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and when we finally, the guy died, and years later we had, you know, at, at the family sewed off his cars and stuff. We went up there, and it was still all apart, but the body was stripped off the paint and that. And we bought the car, then Dad finally started restoring the car. He called me one day, he goes, hey, Come here, look at this. So I went down there, and the leather, the interior was all done, removed and gone. Yeah. But the guy spray painted the chassis spray cans. Right, yeah. I mean, he just was an amateur doing it, and Dad was stripping paint off and goes, look at these springs in the rear end. Uh, they were all nickel plated. Really? The springs were nickel, the axle tubes were nickel, the dry shaft was nickel plated, the front axle was nickel plated. And it was like, and so he, we started checking around with people that knew about the car. Yeah. And they said, well, that's why this one's got a bench seat. It was Fatty Arbuckle's car. And, that, and it's got two doors. All the other Templars, the other ones, the roasters all have bucket seats in front. And no There's, wonder you uh, have a fat man steering yeah, wheel for yeah, the and, and it has Arbuckle. doors, and other ones don't have doors. This so, must be a fast car. It, it was, it's fairly quick for the yeah. day in 1919. Yeah. But it... This is but Fatty Arbuckle. we can't come up with documentation and oh. find proof that he owned it, so we had to put it back, you know, kind of the way the factory would yeah. have done a standard yeah. car. Now, these springs are nickel-plated? They originally were, yeah. Or okay. When, you know, it's, so that's why they look so, they're fresh, they were plated, and the car was in fat, wow. fabulous shape underneath and the body and stuff. But, uh, 
Yeah, because the other car we have you know, was the Cannonball car, which Cannonball Baker drove across country. Oh, oh really? Was, yeah, we then set the records in it. And it was a little rougher, but it was a part when we got it. And what year is that Templar? It's a 20. A 20? Yeah. Jeez. Now, was he paid to do it from yeah, the Templar factory? Paid, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he paid and he did it for several years. He And they called the, the car, when you've seen it, the car now looks like this one. It's a, but the car, when he first drove it across country, it had, you can't say it's a touring body, it's just a body. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a cow yeah. uh, that's just yeah. kind of hand, and there's no seat. In rear seats in it, they just put mm -hmm. spare stuff in the back yeah. seat. The speedster. And, yeah, and, and they just used it to, and there's no yeah. fenders on it and stuff. And yeah. supposedly when they got done after the runs and that, they used it for pr promotion, so they put a body on it and stuff. And yeah. Wow. Went around it and they, they actually, the Army used it as a recruiting device, too. They called mm -hmm. it, the, and it had, actually for a while, it had painted down the side of the recruiter. Huh. <laughs> and, that, and then the stand, we got the original wheels, the rims, because they were disc rims on there originally, huh. and they had a big swastika uh -huh. on the, or the Maltese cross, yes. that's what they got, the Maltese oh, cross Maltese. on the uh, wheels painted on them and that, yes. and, and then after World War One, they kind of took them all off, because yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that, that, everybody associated that, yes. art, that Iron Cross with Germans, yes. Yes. which it wasn't really, and no. even the, you know, the swastika is a native Indian symbol. Oh, that goes way back. Oh, yeah, it goes way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, the Germans just kind of took over it yeah. and, and then kind of ruined it for everybody yeah. in a way. Yeah. So now it has bad place. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Now, what do you like most about what what attracted you to Templar? What do you like best about the car? Uh, it's just it's fun to drive and it's just uh, unusual. It being you know rare, not you don't see them every day. Uh, no. <laughs> Most people don't never heard of one, you know, and uh, nowadays me, people hear about the Templar, you know, Knights Templar and Oak Island and all that stuff. Yeah. Right? So they start, you know, but they don't link the two that they actually, somebody actually made a car. Now so I like that. your t-shirt with the uh, super fine small yeah. car. Yeah, that's what, the, that was their logo, super, you know, they started using that because the Stets and that were a bigger car. Yes. And that, so they went with a super fine small car. I you like know, that. They, yeah. I like that. Thank you for the information. Oh, oh thank gosh, you. thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, beautiful. We'll see Take care. This is wonderful. What a treat. Jeez. Again, this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the Eastern Nationals. Well, actually, it's not the Eastern Nationals. The Eastern Fall Meet. The AACA over here in Gettysburg. Check out this 1919 Templar. If you want to go golfing, you can have your golf bag door. Oh, of course. <laughs> Fits right in. <laughs> For more fuller events like this, make sure you check. <laughs> NortheastWheelsEvents.com Come on, girl. Southeast Wheels Events and UK Wheels Events. Oh, oh yeah. It's been sitting here since then. There we go. Let her warm up for a bit. This is early motoring, folks. Remember when we used to have to warm up cars and stuff? Get the choke set just right. There she is. There she is. You can smell the gas. She's running rich. This is fantastic. Fantastic. Again, 1919 Templar. 
Work that power steering. Yeah, power, power. I'll see you at the shows.